that the uh, Liverpool players have been celebrating qualifying for the next round with, his, with the fans. Now they go in to the changing rooms. There was no miracle for City, but uh, Liverpool played better than City uh, at key moments of this fixture. The first half an hour on the first leg, and the minute 55, it was interesting because uh, I was sitting with some of the uh, City people, and uh, they were saying minute 55, all of a sudden, coming from uh, half time, uh, we saw a City, I mean, was half time, um, a City that uh, seemed more tense, less liberated than they were in the first half, as if tension had uh, already caught with them. Um, Something had to do with not seeing uh, Pep Guardiola on the bench. It had to do with the importance of the moment, minute 55. And uh, as I wrote for AS, that's the minute where if you appear. Yeah, yeah no problem. Are you on? Sorry, you find something. I am sorry. doing a little video, but. <laughs> Top man. All right, Top cheers. Man. See you later. Um, if you actually appear, uh, they find it funny. <laughs> See you later. Um, yes, go on. They're quite similar. They look almost like brothers. Yeah, aren't we? See you later. Um, right, I'll try to sit here now. So, uh, that minute, 55. Uh, City had not been able to kill it in the first half, even though, despite the early goal, they had most of the possession, they created the chances. But you have to say, in those moments where they had the opportunity to, to take the, the fixture to their side, it just didn't happen. That, there wasn't that goal, uh, the away goal in the first leg, and that goal in the first half. Now, uh, in the 55th moment, 55th minute, what sense is that whatever happened at that point, it was going to be crucial. So as I said, uh, and as I wrote in AS, uh, at that minute if you appear, uh, you are in the core of the newspapers. If you do it in a big game, like today, you deserve a song. And if you actually do it very often, you get a book written about you. Uh, well, Salah has already been in many covers, he's got his own song. I think he now deserves a book because he's been extraordinary. He's in the flow, everything he does, uh, he actually becomes gold. And that's partly because he's at the right time and the right place, uh, because his uh, positive mind frame uh, makes him always look for opportunities. It doesn't go down, it continuously goes. Um, he's got to thank his experiences uh, throughout his career. But the little push has come quite clearly from uh, Jurgen Klopp, who said that uh, himself. So, yes, that's what happened. Salah appeared, and then that was the end of that. The uh, tie was lost in the first half an hour uh, at Anfield, and I'm sure there will be questions about how could they learn, or what could they learn from this. And everybody else already said the thing to learn from it quite clearly is to manage the games better, or uh, see what can be done to control games better, to see what can be done to actually go to the next stage. And uh, we discussed this in other videos. Some cities got a young team uh, in the roller coaster that football is, football games are. Uh, perhaps they haven't been heard and they haven't been in highs often enough to actually recognize the moment where they have to uh, perhaps do things differently. Fascinating uh, to see that. Uh, Liverpool, of course, uh, knowing that they did not need to control the games, they had a good opportunity to actually go through, and they've done it uh, because they sting like these. They do exactly that, which is what obviously hurts not just uh, Manchester City, but any team. Look at Barcelona, for instance. They've been knocked out as well by Roma. I haven't seen the game, of course. We've been here at the Etihad, but uh, I'll have a look at that. I said all the way along this season that he's, the squad is the worst in 10 years. I think uh, this result can prove that uh, they depended all the time on Ter Stegen, on Valverde's decisions and on uh, Messi. And for those things to happen at the same time, well, at the crucial moment it hasn't happened. And it's an amazing to think that they have been out, knocked out in the quarterfinals in four of the last five seasons with Messi on the side. 
unbelievable. But here, yeah, well done Liverpool. Let's see who they get in the next round. Uh, and for City, uh, this game, because it's the last one, will be uh, uh, will allow many to judge a season. But they are about to win two titles. The big one, the important one, was the uh, Premier League. They uh, had that as the main target this season and to improve in the Champions League. Well, they've done so, but uh, they still need to give another step forward. How would they do that? Perhaps get in number nine uh, that can do more than their strikers right now, because everything else they've done, apart from being strong enough mentally, perhaps, in the key moments. First half an hour, a little bit, minute 55, the key moment of this tie at the Etihad. That was it, what did you think? Remember to subscribe and to uh, comment as well, and I'll put all your comments together and do a video soon. Meanwhile, I'm going to see what the manager said in the press conference. Cheers.